Insider Dave Rex. The 68 of Kyle Sawyer sets the pace. The back check warning might start off. Looking for the green this time by. Green's out. We're racing. The 68 of Kyle Sawyer leads them out. 66 of Mark Rohde and establishes second. Jim Heim. Comes up on the inside, that's for third. Jim I'm your fast time qualifier for this evening. He's a Michigan Lions club car. Your leader at the moment in the 66 is Mark Rohde. He's an East Troy Lions club car. The 171 is Jim I to the inside of the 66 of Mark Rohde. That's for the league at the strike. Rohde is your leader. Jim Iam establishes the lead down the back to 66 of Mark Rohde, back to the outside once again, side by side for the lead. At the strike this time, the 171 of Jim Iam, your leader, Mark Rohde in second, Rohde looks to the inside of the 171, those two battling it out for the lead, Jim Iam holds it down the back stretch, White coming out this time by, one lap remains. White's out, one remains, Jim Iam in the 171, he's the first, Mark Rohde second. And the 171 of Jim Iam brings it into turn four, the checkered flag flies, he's your winner. Second goes to the 66 of Mark Rohde, and the 69 of Christopher Klein, the 68 of Kyle Sawyer, and Dave Koyak in the 59. That other car that I didn't know what it was, the number 99. <laughs> In the 99, Don U. Denny, maybe. The 39, Aaron Finiola. And it looks like we're about ready to go green flag racing. Green shot, we're racing the first of four, street stock heat. Taking the early lead, the 59 of Dave Poyak. Establishes the lead. Willie Peterson tries to go to work once again on the outside. 
Seven of Larry Anderson, your leader. The 78 of Lightning Lyle in second as the 01 of Mike Watson on the inside. That's the strike, Mike Watson, the 01. Your second place time. Black flag to the 88. He'll take it on up into the pit area. The 007 of Larry Anderson still leading them out. Uh, 0 1 of Washington, 17 of Lightning Mile, doing battle for the second page lap for everybody else.
off of turn four. There's a tire down there, and it just made it into the water. I'm not sure. The 34 is going to take it to the pit area. We'll get the lineup sorted out. We have five laps complete, I believe. establishes the lead. Bader in second. The 45 of Dave Lawrence to the outside of the 13 of Bader. Whoa! And he gathers it back up. Three line. 89, 76, and 73 down the front stretch. Halfway as they come down in front of you this time. I think the 73 giving the help. Little help to the 13 of Jason Bader. I don't think I know. Uh oh, problems on him. I believe we have some coupla on the racetrack. And we gotta go yellow. We got. We're racing the 
Stewart, Denny Norton Jr. leads them out. Your leader in the two car, the 45 of Dave Lawrence, the 73 of Adam Ragnar, and the 89 of Ryan Finley do a battle for third. Ragnar holds it at the moment. Danny Norton Jr., your leader. Two laps remain as they come down in front of you this time by. Now establishes second. Dave Lawrence looks to the inside. Whoa, a knee! Dave Lawrence gets into the 73. Right by right now. Dave Lawrence needs to get that thing moving. We're not going to bring up the yellow. Come on. And he does. Racing continues. The two of Denny Norton Jr., your leader. 73, Adam Ragnar in second. Ryan Finley, Jerry Kennel, and Greg Peterson, Mike Cooey, and Dave Lawrence. The checkered flag flies. And your winner is the two of Denny Norton Jr. Then the 73 of Adam Bragner, the 89 of Ryan Finley, 67, Jerry Cowan, 30... Green's out, we're racing. <laughs> Side up front, Swan and Ratchy. Matt in the Voso. Halfway as they come down in front of you this time, Ratchy now establishes the lead. Swan and the Voso doing battle for second. Matt and the 43 make a little contest. Trying to make that move on the inside of the 20 of John Ratchy. That's for the lead. Ratchy trying to hold it. That's the strike this time. Ratchy's your leader. One second to both of Ratchy and Jansen. The 97 and the 20 side by side for the lead. At the strike, this time it's still the 20. Well, that causes three wide lap traffic. Whoa. Two laps remain as they come down in front of you this time. The 97 of Swan, your leader at the strike that time, by The 20 of Matthew, the 84 of Matthew, the 84 of the Moto, the 43 of Jansen. Whoa. This is Four makes contact with the 97 car, and the 20 of Ratchy has established the lead on his own. Swan in second, Mackey now goes to work on the inside of the 97 of Team Swan. The white's out, one remains. Ratchy keeps it first. The 
20 Iraq to your leader. The battle for second, third, fourth, and fifth. The second prize, 20, your winner. Then John Mackey, John Stanton. Thanks for time to vote for John Morning. In the number five, the number 69, Kerry Hilgendorf out of Bell Lake, and the 53 of Brad Carson out of Piatone, Illinois, the Green's out. Ten laps to distance. Top two will be moving on. That could be a six of Kurt Thompson out there. In a purple car. Yes, that is Thompson. The 32, Mike Witchell is your leader. 99, Jay Gravel out of Manami Falls running in that second spot. The police officer is moving in the back of the field to run radar. Two laps complete. Three wide. Moving into that third spot is Brad Carson out of Piatone, Illinois. Carson now moves up into second position. Here goes Thompson in the sixth, moving up into third position. Three laps complete this time by your new leader. Carson out in front, running in that second spot. The final transfer position of Mike Wichel of Milwaukee. Being challenged by Kurt Thompson out of Palmyra. Thompson keeping the heat on for that second spot. The battle of the purple machine. Kurt Thompson moves into second. And the Rapid Patrol is running last. Halfway home this time by, five in, five to go. Good battle for six spot back there, the 71 of Parker, the 69 of Hildendorf, and the 62 of Shemansky. Andy Shemansky, uh, Former Midwestern Zero Series competitor. Whoa, and Samansky comes together with the 71 of Parker. down the back stretch. You'll be looking for green as they come around this time. Cooley looking for a little bit of a jump there. He's up, he's back, looking, looking. Double greens it out. Cooley jumps in the lane, going down to the third one. Derringer gives you a key inside. What's the running room on the high side? Then you want to shoot just back a little bit. This is going to be a complete restart. Drop in the back of the field, so we're going to take this one from the top. Black flag for Jamie Swan. See that? Bye. Then you're going to be looking for his first ball class championship. Cap off his career in that division. 
Field Titans off into turn one and two. Going to be looking for green this time by. Looks a little rough up front. Dave's checking them out. Double greens are out. Are leading down in turn one and two. Bader bringing up third. Lawrence into that fourth spot, followed up by Denny Norton Jr. Little we'll contact between the 89 and 73 car. Bader out of shape at four. Derringer are looking to the outside of Cooey in turn two. Powers down the back stretch. Trying to establish position to three. At the stripe, I've got Derringer. Louis Barrels back on the inside. Starting a little sideways coming out of two. Keep an eye on the 43 card. Fast time qualifier. He's trying to charge the back. as is Colin Radke and Tommy the Shark. Derringer starting to pull a little bit of the lead away from the field. Starting to the inside launch. Big spin on the 25 car. The 97 slides up work out down there in the pit area. Cops flip coming out. There's fluid all over the track. Yellow's out. Hopefully that's just a little water down there. We'll get that cleaned up. Single, single file restarts for all divisions. Of this Cooey Titans up behind the boys. Lawrence, Norton, Bader, Regner, Chucky Regner. Cowan, Finley, and Red, your top ten. Green's out. Derek, your eyes pumped on this turn one. Lawrence looks for running room down there in the bottom. Finley's still looking at that bottom, looking underneath. Who are you out of four? Got him on the outside. Down the back stretch, Norton establishes the position. They go after Cooey now. Regner also looking on that bob, running over the rubble strip. Quick move by Norton down the front straightaway. Norton in second, going to be trying to chase down Derringer. Norton moving in on the board. Three wide on the front stretch. Three wide again, and two wide, two wide, one wide, one wide, one wide. Two wide, two wide, and turn two. Contact between the 45 and 76 car, 76 car up to the wall, drifted back, way off the pace. Starting with a little pressure right there. Ranger going to try and chase him down. Collins, 13 is into the pit area. Jason Bear takes her up into the pit. Norton underneath Derringer. Take the bleak. The shark with the chase down the entire field. Norton up underneath Derringer. Look for Ryan Room at four. So, almost got that. Oh, and there's a little contact. 
on the back stretch. They're both still giving Cowan a little help. Green's out. Jordan leads down into one and two. Darren just slips up a little bit. Rainer gets underneath him. Halfway this time by. Moving up from the back, your fast time qualifier. Things get tight and tough at the top. Norton is trying to stretch that lead out. Breaker trying to catch him. Bumper tag for third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Blow the proverbial throw horn. Rainer up underneath Norton. Martin holds it under the stretch. Rainer dies in and one. Flips up. Martin pulls a little down the back straight away. Rainer dies back in. Driving her hard. I've got North in the strike. Wagner and North continuing to battle side by side. In the meantime, here comes Jensen. 13 pulls off in the Houston area down at turn one. That's the senior leader in the strike. Here comes Jensen. He clears Cowley. He's going to try and chase the two leaders down now. Ten laps to go. Nine this time by. Right near your leader to strike again. Seventy-three. By a fender. Thorn drifts up. Good drive power out of the corner. Kills the end up on the number two song. One, two, and three, you can cover him with a blanket. Start charges back in on the outside. Rager holds that bottom through, down the O. Danny driving high on the track, using that bank and up top. Danny drops underneath, gonna make a battle at the finish here. Five to go. Rager pulls away. Norton's got the chance. Now it's a boat pull. Going 
squad still running at the back. Five to go this time by. Teddy Norton all out of shape out of four. The boat go up into the dirt. Five to go this time by. Teddy Norton drop the inside, getting out of leader's belt. Big sportsman chip by that driver. Doing good to me. Didn't want to get in anybody's way. race for the street stock cars on our eighth annual October Classic. Adam, you have had uh, some ups and downs this year, but you really uh, finished off the season good, didn't you? Yeah, we're, we ended the year off on a good note, finally. It's, it's the last couple weeks we've come together. We've had, had a lot of bad stuff happen mid-season, so it's, it's been a good season still. So. Uh, you feel uh, lucky to win the race, that's for sure, but you had some real hot competition this season, and uh, you were point leader for about oh, midway through the season, and then after that, it was uh, nip and tuck all the way. Did you, uh, when the pressure is on you like that, do you think you make more mistakes in the race, or does it just come out all right? Uh, it bugs me more during the week, I think, than it does anything. I think about it and think about it, and then just take what happens out on Saturday night, you know. And you look forward to uh, coming out on Saturday night. The, some of the people who help the car go around, I know your wife is pretty instrumental in that. Mom and Dad have always been here at the races too, right? Yes, yeah, it's a big family family racing deal. When it is a family thing, it makes it a lot easier to come out and compete and spend the money on the race car. Anybody we should talk about who helped you this year? Yeah, um, Whispering Olds out of Bristol, they helped big time. They came on board this year. And then Herbs, Denny Norton at Performance Unlimited. Uh, door expert or not door experts whispering or whispering oaks really i have to i have to thank them a lot and uh, concert perfection auto body uh spring grove heating and air conditioning track master chassis there's, there's a lot of people the whispering oaks that's that uh, brand new uh, bar restaurant on highway uh, 45 isn't it yep yep they're having a grand opening coming up pretty soon so you can get up that way stop in there and say you've seen us <laughs> Well, Adam, we uh, congratulate you on your win, and next week is the run with you brung, and that means you're going to have some outside competition again. Yeah, it'll be another tough one. Hopefully, hopefully you can soup up the car fast enough to hang with everyone. Well, congratulations on your win, and uh, best of uh, luck next week. 